The gentleman put a post out on Facebook. He was opening up his dad's storage locker and it was free. Come get it. There were three of us going through the locker. I asked if anyone wanted these tote of VHS and they all laughed and said, no, no. Okay, I'll take them. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, we have September 2022 Bolo items. Items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low and sell high. These come from my Facebook members. So I posted this post in my Facebook group, invited everyone in the group to share a big money or unexpected Bolo item. So I'm gonna tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. Um, I will shout out members of my YouTube channel. So if I say this one was sold by so-and-so, that's why they're getting a shout out. Um, if you are a member, please remember to hashtag Bolo Buddies member in the post with your eBay store or your YouTube channel name. No links, but hashtag it so that I know that you're a member so I don't miss you when I'm doing the video. So we are going to start with a couple from Farm Girl Scavenger Noel. And she is a Bolo Finder. She is also a Bolo Buddies member and a moderator of this group. So go show her some love with a sub over on her YouTube channel. She finds fantastic items here. It's hat season, warm hat season. I paid 25 cents for this at this gem of an estate sale. This is what it looks like. And it's a J. Crew women's bucket hat. And bucket hat. I was just looking for that keyword in a listing that I was putting up today. So now I know. Uh, you can find posts like this over on Instagram. She has an awesome Instagram and you will definitely learn a lot. But she sold this hat for $39.99 plus shipping. Cost a good 50 cents. How fantastic is that? And then this one's really cool too. It's a bread and butter, but I love it. It's a vintage Hallmark, unusual Hallmark Halloween. This little frog has got it going on. He had he was very cheap at an estate sale. She sold it for $29.99. It's a vintage 1960s, 70s Hallmark cards, green stuffed animal frog, toy witch Halloween. So really a uh, fun item right there. All right, let's go on to the next one here. It's a Nintendo GameCube cube game. Paid $2 at a thrift store and sold in full four days for full asking price plus shipping. It is a uh, Batten, ooh, Kios Origins. That's what it looks like. I may have mispronounced that. Imagine that. Bolo Buddy's mispronouncing something. Uh, $199 plus shipping for that. Paid $4 at the Goodwill. Flora Winks, uh, Club Enchantix doll, and it's in the original packaging, sold for $99.95 plus shipping. Sold two Richard Scary's Puzzle Town puzzles for a hundred, paid 10. Wow, I have never seen this before. These are really cool. Check it out. So they're like, um, are they like three dimensional? They're by Play School. I love these, you guys. I love selling toys. If you're new to my channel, like toys, I love it. So very cool Bolo there. Uh, this one comes from Bolo Buddies member Amazing Steals and Deals. Christopher, he found this at an estate sale. He paid $15 and got full asking price within a week. And he said it is a great Bolo brand. Culver, of course, I can't pronounce it. Uh... Belenicia gold green diamond old fashioned low ball six glasses flared mid century modern mint sold these for 150. Um, you guys have got to go follow his eBay store again. I will link it down in the description. Anybody I mentioned that's a YouTube um, member of my Bolo Buddies memberships, um, I'll link them down below either their YouTube channel or their eBay store. So follow his store, he's incredible. Got it at Savers, paid $3, listed for $59.95, sent an offer for $49.95, and sold after only 13 days. It is a Moncini, and it's a Secchi Gucci? <laughs> Secchi Gucci Moncini. I don't know if I'm saying any of that right, but it gets better. 
Bebbuccini. <laughs> this is what it looks like. Black cat costume, pacifier binky, thumb sucker. So somebody said that I should uh, put it into Google. I That would take me 10 minutes to put into Google. <laughs> and I'd still say it wrong. All right, here's the next one. I got two free totes of VHS from a storage locker. Most were sealed. The gentleman put a post out on Facebook. He was opening up his dad's storage locker and it was free. Come get it. There were three of us going through the locker. I asked if anyone wanted these tote of VHS and they all laughed and said, no, no. Okay, I'll take them. I had these back to the future tapes. Wait. I had these Back to the Future tapes for 250. Okay, had them listed for 250. Took a best offer of 200. The seal on the outer box was tore, or they would have been worth more. So far, I've made a total of $1,425 on free VHS. Yes. Um, I bought my daughter in law supper because she saw the post and told me about the locker. That is fantastic. This is what it looks like. Uh, paid a dollar for this on the last day of the estate sale that I had assumed I already picked clean on the first day after four hours of shopping, declined an early $60 offer and decided to do some more research. It turns out that the same Alaskan artist has at some point had one of these featured in a British museum. Sold for $152.50. I was sure to add additional insurance to this before mailing off. This is what it looks like. It says native Alaskan handmade beaded leather scissors holder. That's fantastic. Sorry, I have a squeaky chair. Paid $1.50 at an estate sale. Just accepted a best offer of $68 after three months. It was sealed and unused. It is a new vintage 1981 Mackett and Backett world of... Oh, Mack it and back it. Oh my gosh. Make it and bake it. Uh, <laughs> so they made it like one word. World of Disney Christmas Sun Catcher Ornament Kit. I'm just going to leave that in there for laughs, okay? Found for free on bulk trash pickup day. Took over two years to sell, but I can't complain. I have a ton of boxes, but this one was an odd shape. Yeah, went to Oregon. So yeah, those boxes, when you have to box things that are awkward, I hate that. A lot of times I just won't pick the items up because of it. Vintage 1990s Jerry Backpack Child Toddler Carrier Hiking Chair, $249.99, $249.99. It had a very 90s pattern. I listed so high due a couple of found solds on Worth Point. Bought them on clearance years ago. I want to say I paid less than $3. I had them sitting in the garage. Decided to list after I saw someone post about them. Uh, I did get an offer for $25 a few prior weeks before. When I countered with a higher price, I got a nasty message back saying all kinds of things. Whatever. I knew what others had sold theirs for. So this is opened. It's Bounty with Dawn Paper Towels. Two rolls out of three rolls package. So I think they've got the soap inside of them. I think that's how it works. But $42 for those. And it's two rolls out of three. It's not even complete. Purchased at an estate sale for $30. Sold in four days for full asking price of $120 plus shipping. Furby in the original packaging. I'm going to have to like, do you guys hear that squeaking? It's driving me nuts. Um, it's a 1999 Tiger Furby limited edition Gremlins Gizmo sealed interactive toy. 120 Found in an estate sale, paid a dollar. Sold for $59.99 plus shipping in a week. I do a quick search on these if I can without looking too obvious. Some are worth a small amount and some are worth much more, but usually a good easy win. Vintage prints. Match Machabelli, Machabelli. I don't know how to say that. I shouldn't know how to say that, right? Sun Shower Spray Cologne. There it is. Bought a Kodak Easy Share digital camera, optical zoom, new open box at a yard sale for $8. Listed it for $120, took a best offer of $100. That's what it looks like. Vintage Talking Casper the Friendly Ghost. Bought at a garage sale, paid a dollar, had him listed for $80, and sent an offer for $55. So this is what he looks like. He's a pull string too, plush. I've been killing it on Mercari in the past couple months. Purchased Goodwill, $4, sold for 75, 
Took about three months to sell. Any kind of older game still sealed, I usually pick up. She got it at the Goodwill for four, and it's Robo Rally Lasers Active Robot Racing Board Game, new sealed damaged box rare. This is what it looks like. If you guys are not selling on Mercari, I have a whole series of what sold videos, things that I am selling on Mercari. If you guys want to check that out, it's kind of like I just do my eBay, but all Mercari. And I do have a link down in the description. If you join um, Mercari with that link, you will get $10, I think, off your first purchase. And then when you sell $100 worth of items, I think you get another $20. And that is my referral link. So if you use that, I would greatly appreciate it. I just see I have a new follower on Whatnot. <laughs> I'm seeing my notifications pop down. I am going to sell on Whatnot eventually. I said August, but it's just not going to happen. I don't know when it's going to be because it's now October. And I just feel like I am overwhelmed with so many other things going on. But I am making my piles. I have some great stuff that I'm going to be bringing. So if you would like to follow me on Whatnot, I would appreciate it. The link's down below. And if you're new to Whatnot, you get a $10 um uh, credit to shop if you use that link. So that's down there also, along with my other links. Like Courtney, I also love some Fisher Price loving family dollhouse pieces. A little charity thrift shop had a dollhouse for sale, which included accessories in a separate box. I just wanted the extra pieces. The lady actually said no. Even though I said I was paying for the house and the extras, I paid the 15 they wanted for the whole set. So I walked away with my, um, bin of extra pieces and left the dollhouse. I told them I was just going to leave it outside in, of the store anyway. They might as well try to sell it. So far, that $15 has made me $57 and I still have 50% of the lots left to sell. Okay, here are photos of what she has sold the items for. And I'm looking and I have sold these pieces and I sell mine higher. Just FYI. Um, they probably take longer to sell because I price them higher, but I also cross post them to Mercari and Poshmark with List Perfectly. Um, if you would like to try List Perfectly, uh, there is a demo video down below. You can use coupon referral code Bolo Buddies, all one word, to get 30% off your first month. I have found that on Poshmark, people will bundle these items and then they get that discounted shipping price for bundling. Um, so yeah, loving family. I, I definitely parted out as well. But a little tip on the dollhouse. If the dollhouse is damaged or incomplete, you can take the windows off, the doors off. Um, there's this one particular dollhouse and I have just been doing amazing with the windows, like selling out of them as soon as I list them. Um, so yeah, definitely. And I have uh, sold the windows individually and I have sold them as a set of four and they sell both ways. So definitely something to keep in mind. I pick up almost everything Disney, and lately I've been picking up anything with rainbows. I use Pride in the title. Found this $2 and sold for $42 one month. Church sale maybe, it's medium-sized backpack. Walt Disney World backpack, bag, Pride, rainbow, collection, Mickey Mouse, 14-inch, $42. It is a bat. It is an Easton bat, TP, TPs, two-piece, all composite. Uh, $145 this sold for right here, this Easton bat. That's one thing that I always pass on. I know they're so easy to look up and I should really do that, but I just don't like shipping them. Let me know if you have good luck with bats and golf clubs and stuff like that. I know a lot of people do really great. This is a, um, oh, the bat. I paid $3 at a yard sale and buyer paid full price. The Carhartt jacket paid 50 at a yard sale. Buyer paid full price of $184.99. And this is the Carhartt jacket. So she did pay up for that. And also this Bath and Body Works lotion paid a dollar at a yard sale and buyer paid full price. I bought all the bottles she had and I have four more. So this is a Bath and Body Works Cool Citrus Basil Body Lotion. It's retired. $44.89. All right. I picked this up at an estate sale for $1. This one comes from Jody over at Toy Attic. That's her YouTube channel. Go sub her up. She's fantastic. She decided to auction this starting at $99.99. She said she got an offer immediately for $200. She said, I wanted to take it, but I decided not to. Glad I didn't. It is a vintage Disneyland 1950s coffee house garden menu. $371 is what it ended up selling for. That is fantastic. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. If you would like to share a bolo, head over to my Facebook group and look for a post under the featured um, feature.
featured announcements section of the group. You'll see it up there. I also have where you can share an item that was removed from eBay, like a Vero or a policy violation. Um, I'm doing videos on those as well. This helps everyone learn what not to list. I normally focus on items to list, but I think it's also important to know what we shouldn't be listing so our accounts don't get in trouble. Um, let me know if you have any questions and let me know how you found the channel. And thanks for watching. I was going to say something else, but I don't know what else to say. Oh, leave me an emoji in the comments. Tell me what your favorite bolo was. Just leave me a comment. It helps me in the algorithm. That's what I was told. Thanks for watching.